This is the Bro Day Pod. Welcome to the Bro Day hashtag No Plan B podcast. My name is Gabriel Bro. And I am Trent O'Day. And we're Bro Day. Day. This is episode number seven. If you've never heard this podcast before or don't know who we are, we're professional wrestling multiverse travelers hellbent on spreading our names throughout the universe and hopefully finding something interesting to talk about along the way. Now, first things first, whether you're part of the Bread Bros or if you're in the Cheese Fam, make sure you let us know so we can decide once and for all which is superior and the answer to the question, bread or cheese? I think it's cheese. I think it's bread. And we've already established at the end of the year we are going to find out who the people... Yeah. What the, where are people's podcasts? The, cor- the correct answer. The we, correct answer. With the people's podcast. With the people's podcast. I like it. But that's... We're going to find the correct answer. Mm. Now, if you're following along straight away before we start our segments, Ooh. you'll notice we're mapless. We are mapless. We're mapless. Yes. We're in a different place. Yes. We're headphoneless. Yep. It feels very... Odd. It's an odd pod. It's an odd pod. It's an odd pod. People have described our pod as odd anyway. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so People say it's an odd pod so anyway. it's a more odd, odd pod. Yeah. R- yeah. 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 It's an odd pod. It's an odd pod. No. It's an odd pod. It's yeah. an odd pod. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not a podcast for odders. <laughs> um, so, the re- uh, uh, multiple reasons, but essentially COVID lockdown, the snap COVID lockdown has re- like put the squeeze on us. We essentially had to move venue for this one. Hopefully we'll be back. Uh, to where we usually are yes. pretty soon. But we had to get the content out. Always. Because no plan B. We don't this have a plan is B. our plan A. We don't have a plan B. That's why it's called the No Plan B podcast. Sweet. Podcast. 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 You see? I'll <laughs> okay. tag you in, Trent. Let's go. First segment. Away you go, sir. All right. So for those of you following along at home, and who those of you following us along on Instagram, we're three followers away from 100, by the way, on Instagram. So <laughs> Huge. Please help. We're colossal. <laughs> colossal. Please help. Triple digits. That's all we ask by the end of like, whenever this podcast comes out. Yeah. Come jump on. on the colossal. Help us trade. out a yeah. little bit. How? Um, What's the at? At Broday Tag Team. There on you go. Everything. Everything. Name a social. We're on it. Na- do it. Name a social in the comments. We're on it. <laughs> oh, that's huge. Fine. Because we're definitely not on like four of them that I can list right now. If they comment, they bump the algorithm. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, definitely. Hundred percent. Yeah. Anyway. If you would have uh, noticed, I did a, a pod poll. A pod poll. A pod poll? A poll to the pod. A poll pod. A poll pod. A poll pod on the odd pod. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, so, I asked, essentially, I just put out a bunch of random questions yeah. that I wanted the people that follow us right. to to just... <laughs> decide. Have, decide. It's the people's pod. It's the people's pod. And also, a lot of them, some of them know us, yep. but the people that don't know us, have no idea what they're voting yeah. on or any experience with any of the things that we know where we should be better at. Exactly right. So I'm just going to run through the answers. Perfect. And um, so going off the theme we've somewhat established and will establish, what the people say is law. What they say... <laughs> <laughs> what they say is law. Did we establish that? Yeah, we have now. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Bread or cheese at the end of the year? Yep. What is established is law. Yep, okay. The answer to these questions? Law. What is established is law. Yeah, sweet. Until it gets re-answered and if the answer changes, Until right? we get addendums or yeah, sure. um, amendments. Amendments to laws. Okay, fine. Um, if you want to see the results of the pod, by the way, they're up on the... the uh, poll. Results of the poll. I can't, man. It's all good, man. Results of the poll for the oddest pottest. That's it. <laughs> uh, you can go onto our Instagram. They're all up there. I just Sometimes we're modest out. as well. Yeah, we're the yeah. modest, oddest, oddest pottest. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So stupid. The first question I asked yes. was, who's the better chef? Uh, obvious. In true tag team fashion, obvious. 50% a piece. Really? 50% a piece. I was leading that for ages. Yeah, you were. And so you should have been. I can't cook like at all. There is no way that you yeah, should right. have beaten me in this question. You can cook. Yeah. I'm sorry. That, there's no way that you should have been even. Yeah. There's no yeah, way that yeah. you should have beaten me in this question. Yeah, yeah. I can't cook straight away. I can cook three things total, and I had to rehearse each of those dishes for four years. Yeah. No way. Anything to say about that? Do you feel gutted? Absolutely. But that's okay. The people. To be fair, I've only ever seen you cook steak in an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> they were both really good though. Exactly. It's my yeah my patented Gabe omelet. The gomlet. The gomlet. <laughs> the gom- Run the gomlet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. the gomlet. Yep. Next. So, question two I asked, who's the better gamer? Yep. 64% of you gorgeous people said that I was the better gamer. They're not wrong. No arguments. They're yet. spot on. Yeah. Absolutely 64%. Right. 100%. Law. Yeah, it's law. It is law. It's law. Some of the people that voted for you though, like, like Barb's. Yeah. Our good mate Barb's. Barb's back me. What are you doing? Backing me Barb's. Come on Barb's. Barb's I thought we were... Why? Why is Barb's back in... I'm Barb's boy. Why is Barb's... Barb's back... Barb's boy. <laughs> Barb's me. back in the Barb's boy, the bro. <laughs> Why? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So that was pretty much... Yeah, I, I don't understand how you got any votes in that at all, but yeah, I'm not right. arguing with it. This, this one is contentious and yeah. I got super angry about it. What was it. that one? Who's the better driver? <laughs> <laughs> and... 54% yep. said you were the better driver. The law. And I am furious. Why? Because <laughs> I'm so much better. Yeah. How many times when we get to when we drive to Rocky? Yep. How many times have we gotten there? Like with minutes. You're outing yourself. Minutes to spare. <laughs> when you came yeah. to Townsville. Yep. Oh, okay. I don't like this. Yep. You had an auto license. Yes. Yet some... No, no, no. That's not a lot. You had an open license, but you could only drive an automatic car. Yes. You asked for my help. Yeah. To, to drive manual. To drive a manual car. That's right. Yeah, I did. If you're better, it's because of me. I appreciate you, man. You've done well. If you're better, it's because of me. The Therefore, student, there's no way you could be better. The student has become the master. <laughs> a tale as old as time. That's terrible. You're you don't no, look at me. I didn't I'm the better it. driver. I didn't book it. I'm That's the just better the way driver. It happened. <laughs> what they say is law. What's the next one? Who's funnier? Me. I've, I was angry. Fifty five percent. Well, angry. Nah, I'm great. And you are good. You are really funny. Don't get me wrong. But what hurt me is like some of the like some of the wrestling boys. Can have, we? Yeah. Can we voted. call out some boys? Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Call them out. So Let's, who, who so, voted for you over me? So some notable. Yeah, notable names. Some notable names for me. Yeah. Uh, Colt Winchester. That hurt. That, I loved it. Oh. I uh, he's he's up there. For he, me yeah, it's Colt for crying out loud. It's Colt Winchester. It's Colt bloody. He Winchester. backed me massive. Yeah, and I was gutted. And look, you know what? And that's interesting because he loves a game. He loves a game. He does. He does. But I can understand though, because Colt, you've got he's got to call it down the line. He ha someone has to win and someone has to lose, and yeah. that's completely understandable. Colt, I know you're watching, brother. I get it. That's okay, man. I understand, bro. But it did hurt. Yeah. It and hurt it's, my soul. That was one of the ones I didn't expect to come... That was an underdog story. Yeah. I don't expect to come close in that one. Yeah. Uh, other notable wrestlers that voted for me. Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. <laughs> on, both right. my, yeah, on both my work account and yeah, my yeah. burner account. Yeah, good. <laughs> Very um, good. Barb's back me. Yeah. Go Barb's. Well funny. Um, well, that's now, pretty much it. Now you're on the Barb train. No, yeah, oh, yeah, right. oh yeah. I, I flip flop. Who, like who voted for me? Remember, I'm in this as well. <laughs> don't, just, don't just click out of the um, poll. Sam Cannon. Hey, my boy Sam. Sam Cannon voted for you. Sam knows um, what's up. Yeah. That's the main one? Yeah. That's the big one. No, what do you mean? Brownie. 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 Brownie hurts. Brownie. EC Brownie voted for you and that yeah. hurt. Yeah, that hurt sure. me a lot because I thought we had a bond. Yeah, you don't. I th yeah, apparently <laughs> you don't. He hates you. Yeah, <laughs> from what I got from this, yeah, he, he does. absolutely hates you. Loves me though. Yeah, rates you, which is absolutely correct. It's <laughs> hundred percent correct. <laughs> That's fair enough. Look, um, other I'm notable hilarious. wrestlers that voted for you, uh, you. Yep, bloody oath. I'm so funny. Um. Yep. That's pretty much it. That's fair. Charlie D gave you a little bit of a love, oh, but he boy. doesn't hang around with me much, my so boy, I reckon I could jump in there. The spaghetti weight. Spaghetti weight. Um, moving on. This I understand, but it's still <laughs> probably ego tripped me. How? Who would you have a better chance of beating in a wrestling match? Most people said, so 56% said they would have a better chance of beating me in a wrestling match. Yep. Correct. Next question. <laughs> if they mean amateur wrestling, no. If they no, if they mean like proper we wrestling, are professional wrestling, professional wrestlers, one hundred percent. 
They understood that as professional wrestling. <laughs> no, I want this to burn. No, because I always get the W. <laughs> that's that's it. I'm always get. What happened, eyes? What happened? Choke. Finished. You're always getting the W. Always getting the W. Last time out. Let me last have a time out. You went. You, you wrestled. What happened there, mate? What happened in the last time? I don't you remember. Wrestled? Did that happen? Oh yeah. Okay. That was in a different universe, I think. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So oh, that wasn't me. Yeah. That was cop out. Uh, so people, I'm calling out right now. This is I'm officially calling. Uh, Sam Cannon. Um, I will just. I'll beat the tire out of you. Um, Jack the Jack Tarver. Australian Wolf, you're done, fam. I'll choke you out as well. Uh, Brownie, finished uh, in a minute, I reckon. In a minute. In a minute. Uh, Zach, yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> Zach Reynolds, nothing. Um, my current misses, I'll choke you out as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've done me in on the pod like this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm furious at what you've done to me. Um, people who voted for you. You know what? Wait. People I'm giving big ups to. Best believe I'm cutting that out and putting that up on the on the page. That's it. Just the me people. calling out my yeah, missus. Everyone. Oh, I- <laughs> you're calling out everyone. <laughs> it's just me calling out my missus on the pod. <laughs> no, all of them. Fair enough. Uh, Cole backed me again. So Cole reckons he Cole beat reckons me. he beat you. Because so I think you need to have. I'm going to give you a bit of time to to. To go off it. Colt's beaten me already. I think that's why. He made me tap out in Mackay. When it was me, him, and um, Spaghetti Boy. That wasn't you, though. Yeah, yeah that wasn't me. Yeah, that wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> Gimmicks. <laughs> wasn't Just, the whole thing is falling apart. And it's your fault. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I said I'd beat you twice. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's burner account crap. <laughs> Stormzy. Jason yeah. Storm called you What's out. What's going on with that? Reckons he beat you nah, in no a wrestling way. match. No way. He wishes, bro. <laughs> I come he with the stones wishes. on him. Easy. He, all he does, he goes to the top. I just move out the way. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Move out the way, bro. All right. God. We only got two to go. Who's the better athlete? That hurt. Well, I, I can see it. Yeah. It's, it's big. 71% said me. And I think you've been undersold. I think you've been undersold here. I, I don't know. What were we doing just now at the gym? Huh? What were we doing just now? 1RM testing. We are doing 1RM testing. Like, and it, it was, everything was really close. It, yeah, it was close. So, honestly, I, I think you've been done in here a little bit. A little bit. But I, I also think it may be because... It's your... Because it's your, you're diced, bro. <laughs> <laughs> got, anyone, there's no... Stop it. There's no ungrated cheese in your house. Stop. It is all you are rid- rated. You're ridiculous. Because of your abs. It's definitely because a lot of people that voted for me... Um, you twice? <laughs> yeah, me twice. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> on three others on my burner account. Um, a lot of people that voted for me know that outside of wrestling, yeah. I was a before my wrestling debut. I was a huge sports guy anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I was like soccer, touch footy, yeah. league. Like they know that I did a lot of that prior. Yeah. So I think they've just gone played a lot of sport versus Gabe. We don't know. Who we don't really have any idea what he did prior to wrestling. In fairness. We'll just vote for him. In fairness, before I did move up to Townsville, I didn't properly do sports sport. Yeah. So I can see where that... I think that's where it's come from. I don't think it comes from purely looking at a wrestling point of view and being like, oh yeah, that's how that balances out. But that plays into it as well. They look at you and go, man's diced. He's cubed up. up." All right. Last question because you're embarrassing, embarrassing me. And I guess if, if this is the one that hurt the most. Yeah. Who would you rather tag with? Yeah. 55% said they'd rather tag with you. Yeah, bro. I, all I do is win. I get the W. I just get the You w. know what? And on on immediate self-reflection, you do all the work. <laughs> when we tag? Yeah. Yeah, bro. You you take <laughs> a lot of the punishment. Hey, man. I'm, I keep trying to reach out to you to tag and you just don't tag me. It's not that. It's just you're so far away. <laughs> <laughs> So far away. I'm crawling as I'm quickly as I can. I'm reaching, and you are so far I'm, away. I'm, yeah. Well, you tend to get me when I do this. Yeah, yeah. Once I do this, the yeah. tag seems to happen. This? <laughs> no, it doesn't happen. <laughs> doesn't happen. Very good. All right. That was the result of the pod poll. I'd like to do more of these. Uh, 100%. But I think I'll do it every yeah. couple of pods to get a different perspective on certain things. But as of now, those are our first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're our first seven laws. Nice. Yeah, very cool. 
They're our first seven laws. Yeah. So if we need to make any addendums later on down the track, we'll make those. Very good. And people can they can jump on and vote, can't they? Now, even now, I think. If no, no, it's on, on the, it's on the highlights now. So you can uh, see it on the highlights, but definitely... The highlights. Um, and if they do want to see it on the highlights, where do they see it? You see it on our main Instagram social account, which yep. is the tag team one, which is at Broday, Broday Tag, tag Team. team. Yeah. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Yep. And then, I don't know, so they want to follow each one of us. At OdayQWA on the, all of it. Yep. And myself, at the real Gabe Bro. Perfect. Sweet. Very tag. Good. Tag. Hey Trent, what's up? Do you want to step into a universe? Boy, do I! This universe it smells tasty. It does. It smells tasty. It's that good, good. <laughs> oh, I'll never do that again. Yep, but... fair enough. I will not. But mm. you know who is genuinely good? Who is genuinely good? Baked by Marie. Baked by Marie are genuinely good. They're fantastic. Like they're. We've said this before, and we'll we'll say it again. Yeah. They are genuinely. so super nice people yeah and they make cakes as good as they are as people yeah like yeah their baked goods all of it is really really good yeah so and you're... Townsville are based as well Take Townsville yeah. owned based yeah. like it's locals supporting locals exactly it's, it's really really good so if you're in the Townsville area Baked by Marie say you got a wedding coming up and you want an incredible cake yep Baked by Marie definitely hit them up yep Bro Day approved yeah Bro Day approved 100% 100% Alright. Tag. Sweet. Okay. Trent O'Day. Yes. Do you want to step into a universe? Because that's the gimmick. Yeah, it is the gimmick. Hey. Yes. I love that you're getting on the gimmick. Hey. Uh, so, this segment is called Is It Bogan or Is It Gabe? It's already Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very Gabe segment. So, oh yeah, 100%. If I had time, I would have like got a really good sting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna get like this the old um Is there a stink spin- if there is a stink for this right now? Yeah. Yeah. Can we play it now? We'll play it now. And there. Nothing played? Nothing played. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do at some point, I'm gonna get the old um spin the wheel sting that I have. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna by the way folks, if you want spin the wheel to come back, I know our DMs are flooding. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> flooding. <laughs> Everyone just gave wants- on both of his burner accounts. <laughs> Everyone wants to see spin the wheel. If you want to see spin the wheel, it'll come back. So, is it bogan or is it gabe? Is okay. it gabe? It's a bunch of sayings or phrases, and you have to tell me if they're bogan, well, Aussie or an Australian saying. Okay, so or if I've made them up. So bogan gabe. is like slang Australian, like classic colloquialisms, right? Yeah, yeah very good, exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that, if you know what bogan is, that's what bogan. So is it bogan? So is it a real thing that we that Australians Let's say? Say yes or. Did you just make it up? Or did I just make it up? Do I have to give you a definition as well? No, I will. I, I can answer your questions as they come. Okay. Okay. Sure. So for the first one, yeah, it's an easy one. Okay. Struth. Yeah, that's yeah, that's bogan. That's bogan. Yep. Bogan ish. It's n- it didn't start in Australia. It's actually like old truth. It's actually old English, which means it means God's truth. Oh right. Yeah. Oh Struth. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's really cool. That's cool, hey. Yeah. Struth. God's truth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're correct for the first one. Okay. Sure. Sure. Next one. He's a John Howard. He's a John Howard. He's a John Howard. Oh, he wouldn't do it. He's a John Howard. I feel like he's a coward. Oh, coward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. He so wouldn't do it. He's a John Howard. John Howard coward. Is um, it Bogan or is it Gabe? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Gabe. Because I know that you can do like a Harold Holt and Bolt. Yeah. Um, and I know that... <laughs> I, I don't know if... I, I don't know. I'm going to go with Gabe. I think you made it up. You're going to have made it up? Correct. Yes! <laughs> That's 2-0. Oh. I, I don't like this so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I def... Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the John Dory? The John, the, the story. What's the story? What's the story, John Dory? What's the story? What's the John Dory? What's the John Dory? What's the John Dory? I feel like if you've gone, you've made the. Is this all just Cockney rhyming slang? Well, two out of the first three are, but no. Okay. What's the John Dory? Give me. The What's John the John Dory? Dory? Yeah, I reckon. G'day, mate. What's the John Dory? I don't reckon you've made that. I reckon that's real. You reckon that's bogan? That's bogan. Three and zero. Oh, I hate this already. Yes. <laughs> So that's um, a what's the story, right? This yeah, is all what's just the like story? Aussie rhyming slang. So John Dory, it's a fish found in the Sydney Harbour. Yeah, right. Which is, I assume, where Finding Nemo Dory gets its name. I assume so as well. Which is pretty cool. 
Um, Do, by the way, sorry, just to cut you off. We don't fact check any of this. Absolutely not. Oh. Like, I just said that out loud. That's not a real thing that may, be, that may exist. So a fact check. So within this segment, we're doing addendums now. Just There was one addendum. Oh I, yeah, that's right. Wrong. We didn't do addendums. The, uh, <laughs> we didn't do addendums. We have to do it every episode. <laughs> we always get something wrong. So much wrong. By the way, folks, if we get anything wrong, please tell us. Let us know in the yeah, comments. Yeah, let us know. It's, it's funnier that we find out how wrong we are. Yeah, via DM <laughs> or via comment. Yeah, and it's that great. we just perpetuate falsities throughout our podcast. Absolutely. So... The NBA logo is not Larry Bird. It's like, not? I said it, and I was like, in my head, you have no idea what you're saying here. I'm like, this isn't right. But I'm like, <laughs> say it confidently, you'll be fine. Yeah, 100%, it's, yeah. The you Twitter... need 80% of anyone to believe anything, and the 20% won't count anymore. Exactly. So, so who is it, actually? I don't know who it is, but it's not Larry Bird. Okay. Larry Bird is the Twitter bird. That's who he's named after. That's sure. fine. Yep. And I was like, it's the NBA logo as well. It's definitely not. It's not. Okay, cool. Anyway... Back to... Yeah, so back to the thing I'm free and I like. Back to... Yes. Is it Bogan or is it Gabe? Um, better than a ham sandwich. Better than a ham sandwich? Better than a ham sandwich. It's better than nothing. Better, better than, than a ham sandwich. Better than a ham sandwich. Better than a ham sanger. Um, the old ham sanger. The old ham sanger. I feel like it's... Hammer sanger. Uh, you know what? Better than my, a ham... My instant reaction was you've made this up, but... I actually, I'm actually swinging more towards, I think this is definitely real because it Why? seems like very farmers out, farmers out in the cut and cane mm. doing it like, you know, cut and work, cane work all day. I don't know. What do people do with their hands? I don't know. You know, so spot the bloke from North Queensland. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or really cut and cane. I don't know. People, people I doing like hard farm work, things. Yeah. farm things. And then you sit down for Smoko and then, oh, well, oh, better than a ham singer. Yeah, what do you, what's your pay? Oh, I don't know, 10 bucks, mate. That's not that good, mate. It's better than a ham sandwich. Yeah, 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 there you go. Surely it's yeah, bogan. Yeah, it's hundred bogan. You reckon it's bogan? Yep. Correct. Yes! <laughs> Four and oh. I don't like this. This segment's easy. This is, uh, we're not getting this back again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we might get, um, spin the wheel back. <laughs> yeah, I sucked at that. <laughs> um, sarong and a toothbrush. Uh, can I have context? I'm off. I've sold the house. I'm in a camper van, and all I've got with me is a sarong and a toothbrush. The bare essentials, the necessities. A sarong and a, a toothbrush. Sarong and a toothbrush. If you've made this up, yeah. you've done really well. <laughs> like to come up with sarong and a toothbrush is weird enough that it could be bogan. Also makes sense, but fool Trent into thinking that it's genuine. See, you're not. I'm. I'm annoyed that you're like you're picking the psychology of me, than like getting that as well. You're like, oh, you wouldn't say this, and you'd say this. I'm like, damn it, you you picked it right so far. But yeah, so what do you think? So wrong on a toothbrush. I think if you've made this up, you've done really well, and I'll I'll concede for one if you've made it up. But I think it's real. You think it's real? Yeah, it's bogan. It's Gabe. It's Gabe. oh, you made it up. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. really good. Um, I'll start using it. But yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, well done. Uh, crow eaters. Oh, we're not done. Yeah, there's more. Oh, I thought there was five. I'm like, no, no, bro. I got one. I got three more. There's seven. So it's crow eaters. Crow eaters. Crow eaters. Crow eaters. Crow eaters. The um, uh, scarecrows. Yeah. Uh, people from Port Adelaide. Because <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> okay. Adelaide crows. And they're few. Gabe. <laughs> this is Gabe. You made this up. There's no <laughs> way this is real. You are not, you are not okay. delivering this with confidence. <clears throat> it is people from Adelaide. Sat from Adelaide. It is Bogan. It's actually... You just delivered people, it terribly. I just delivered it poorly. De- a deliberate ploy. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Layers. Play the psychology into exactly. it. Exactly. So... Now you've rattled me. Now I'm four and two and I'm struggling. Yeah. It's got momentum's on my side. Um, yeah. Feb 6, 1925. There was a restaurant that sold... Um, quote unquote Mount Barker pheasants in Adelaide. Okay. And they were crows. So they fed people crows. So that blew up, and anyone from Adelaide is called a crow eater. Wow. S- as similar to, you know, people from New, Z- New South Wales, like the state of origin rivalry, they yeah. call them cockroaches. Because they ate all those cockroaches at one time. And, <laughs> yeah. And people in New South Wales call us um, cane toads. Cane toads. A delicacy because... up in the north. <laughs> exactly right. Spot on. Very good. So that's your four and two now. Yeah. No. Yeah, four and two. Four and two. Yep. 
I've not counted right. Then it must be eight then. Uh, four and two. A Bushman's handkerchief. That's... Bushman's handkerchief. I've heard that. I feel like that's that's definitely both. That's this thing right here. Yeah, that's real, right? It's your hand. Bushman's handkerchief. Oh, you give it a big head yeah, going I'm up going, the nose. Yeah, I'm going, I'm that's going. That's Bogan? Right. Yeah. That's, you're correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, definitely, I think I've definitely heard that. Five before. and two. All right, last one. Last one. Yeah, go on then. She'll be apples. Yep, that's that's Bogan. Heard that. She'll Really? Yep, heard that. I'm annoyed. Yeah, because I've heard I've that I've never one. heard that before. And I'm like, where She'll does be it apples. come from? Yeah, do you know where it comes from? I used to say it ironically. Really? Because I thought it was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard. Well, fair play. So I used to say that ironically, and I, no wonder I used to get beaten up. <laughs> like, dead I was going to say, in saying that. Bullied just constantly. In saying that, that's something that could blow up in our lads' chat. We just start to say, she'll be apples. <laughs> yeah, she'll be, yeah. It's just said with confidence, it's fine. It's because it's a- apples and spice is the rhyme for nice. So that's where it comes from. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I just used to say it. Yeah. Ironically, because someone said it once and I was like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Tag. <laughs> All right. So, you've just done the universe thing. I have. Would you like to step into a universe with me, Gabriel? I would love to. All right, sweet. Uh, that's the gimmick, by the way. Because that's the gimmick. That's the gimmick. Correct. If you're watching along at home, this is that's the gimmick. You're Stepping absolutely right there, friend. You're correct. Now, I. it's funny that you had a little name segment. Yes. I also have a segment. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I like it. So, the name is work in progress. Sure. Um, and when it has a sting, I'll play it now. Nothing no played. No, no, sting. No, no sting. Nothing played. <laughs> no. Um, it's called... With, with WWF in the late 90s. No the sting. World Wildlife. <laughs> no oh, sting. The world. There's no sting. <laughs> no sting. Right. No sting. I thought you meant the World Wildlife Foundation. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. We could be them. We could. Um, this is, sorry, work in progress title. It's called... <laughs> Gobriel, <laughs> Go no way, Ode. Why do I? Why is my one gammon? No, your one's great. <laughs> Gobriel. Oh well, how do you? How would you do it? I don't know. Let, I don't know. Whatever. Yes, Waybriel. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. no way, Ode. <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel. That's better. Right. That's the name of the title. Gabriel. It's Gabriel or bit, no way, Ode. It's a bit Gabriel. It's a bit Gabriel. Lovely. Um, essentially, I'm just going to give you five things. Right. You're going to tell me if it's a Gabriel yes yep. or a no way O'Day. I love it. All so right. as in if I'm for it or against yeah, it? Yeah, for it or against it. Yeah. Now when... I like that you made me for it. Yeah, well, I guess because it's your thing, right? Yeah, It's sure. your segment. I... So the only yeah. thing is when you give this yes. a Gabriel yes or a, a no way O'Day. Or a no way O'Day. That is an official Gabriel endorsement. Good. So yeah. it's completely fine. Yeah. You, it's law. It's law. It's... I like it. It's that's it. That's it's what this episode's going to be called. Gabriel endorsement. This episode's going to be called. It's law. It's law. Yeah, that's it, right? So, and people will, they'll, they'll hear this and they'll be like, oh, "I've always wanted to know if I could do this." Yeah. And you're going to be like, "Gabriel, yes. Gabriel, yes, no, or, or no, no way, way O'Day. O'Day. And you've got to justify. Uh, very and, good. All right. Number one. Well, okay, go go. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go go. Clearly audible grunting noises at the gym. Is it a Gabriel yes or a no way O'Day? So do I have to have a a, a a line call where I go... It's a yes or a no. And that's it. That's I can, it. So I'll, I'll talk through... Yep. And therefore, I give it a... Say it again for me, please. Clearly audible grunting noises at the gym. Clearly audible. Okay. So... Right. Very good. Thank you. I didn't need that. Okay. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. So. The microphone just blew up. Yeah. I did as well. <laughs> nice. So, the um, stance that I'm going to go with. Yep. I'm going to go with Gabriel Yes. He's giving it a Gabriel Yes. The Gabriel Yes. Yeah. So, if you were ever wondering if you could make clearly audible grunting noises at the gym. Yeah. You've got Gabriel's seal of approval. It's Ga- totally fine. It's a Gabriel yes. Gabriel yes. It's a Gabriel yes. Why? Because if you need to do that to lift the heavy weight, okay. then just get the weight lifted. I don't want to push people down and go, okay. no, don't do it. So don't lift the heavy weight. So don't do it. No, no. If you need to do that to express your pain and anguish and go, I just got to get... I'm I'm gonna bench two plates one day and then just push through and yeah. ah yep that's my two plates that's fine okay I'll back that in 
Go for it. So get that's you, it. Get your one RM king mm. or queen. Yeah. Get it. Sick. So it's a Gabriel yes for Gabriel loudly. Yes. Yeah. Couples sharing gum. No way, O'Day. Straight away. Straight Cu- couples sharing gum. Straight away, no way, O'Day. Not people sharing gum. Couples, couples sharing gum. No way, O'Day. Say they're about to. You know, they both got an important business meeting. They work at the same place. Yeah, uh, it's a bit smelly. Well, if it was gum, if it was important, you would have brushed your teeth. If it was important, <laughs> you're looking at me like I'm. You, tell them if they're the imp- one asking you. They need your. They need your help. If it's important, have pocket gum. Have gum. <laughs> <laughs> Just have gum. Keep it in your pocket. All gum fits in your pocket. Pocket, pocket gum. gum. At all times, carry pocket gum. Carry pocket gum. Pocket yeah. gum. Yeah. You know what else? Something that annoys me. Yeah, go on. I don't know why. The term, it's a foot race. Or a race. Like, <laughs> why is it a foot race? What's the difference? Yeah, he beat, he beat him in a foot race. He also beat him in a race. <laughs> he just beat him in an race. A race is fine. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, no way O'Day to a foot race. And no way O'Day. <laughs> no way O'Day to, to couples sharing, couple sharing gum. Ever. There Look, you go. Hey, I, I gotta give it the. It's, it's the, the no way down. O'day. No way O'day. It's the no way O'Day. I like it. I it like is what it. it is. It is law. It is law. You can't do it. Couples, if you think about sharing gum, don't do it. Disgusting. Remember me. Yeah. Every chew. Yeah. Remember me. <laughs> Every chew. Lads helping out the lads by sunscreening their back. Gabriel, yes, go for it. Gabriel, yes. Gabriel, yes, bro. We're in the tropics, man. Got to sunscreen that back. You got to sunscreen the back, bro. You gotta, would you sunscreen my back? Yeah, why not? Would you sunscreen mine? Too much hesitation already. Yeah, no, I reckon I probably would actually. I don't like that you hesitated. You just let. Me I just know I ran through multiple skin cancer. I I I ran through multiple scenarios in my head. Yeah. All of them began with me starting <laughs> low, and I don't know why. Because I think I push up like yeah, I go. Right. So. Oh, it's you. you do- I went like this in my head. And grabbed to, and I went mm, straight no. to the hip. Yeah, straight hesitation. Yeah, fair enough. I got to go down. Get the but back. I would still do it. You got to get because the back. The whole point of you <laughs> sunscreening my back is getting points I can't reach. Probably not the yet. lower back. I can reach myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go and do your chest. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I that's fair enough. I probably you yeah. go. It's the your middle. It's the middle the there. Center back because your then, lats are huge. It's yeah, hard to I fly, bro. It's hard for you to get back there. Exactly. So, okay, so lads, if you're sitting there going, I really need that back sunscreened. Gabriel, yes. It's a Gabriel, yes. It's a Gabriel, yes. It's a Gabriel, yes. Go for um, it. Shaving. Just quickly, a little, little bit of tangent. Shaving the lads back. Yeah, that's fine. You shave the lads' backs. You shaved my back. At a show. Okay, oh, so that, that's like... all we've got for today. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. We have two more. Um, <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> Forget that. It did. It did. <laughs> Stop. Taking the last slice of pizza when you didn't buy it. Ooh, that's a good one. Taking the last slice, slice of, of pizza, pizza when you didn't when buy you it. When you didn't buy it. If it's... Okay, I would want to assume this judgment call is for someone of an upstand an upstanding citizen, a regular person, a Joe Schmo... Yep. Hey, you blue collar. Like blue collar. Okay. Yep. yep. So, with that being said, yep. Someone who's blue collar, if they're two people having a pizza, and they've gone half, like they're essentially gone half and half. It's an eight-piece pizza. The other person has four, and say I have three. I, You're entitled. To I'm that entitled four. for the one. And if that one, if I'm entitled to the fourth, if that fourth happens to be the last slice, then it happens to be the last slice. That's fair enough. I understand that. So let's change it. House party. Yep. There's three or four pizzas. There's a. There's three or four pizzas, and there's probably like four or five people. Gabriel. Yes. Everyone. Gabriel. Yes. Just take it. Even more. All the more reason. If you're at a house party, hook in. Go for it. Yeah. Go. So realistically, there's there's no scenario in which you shouldn't take the last slice. Unless it's, unless they haven't had their yeah unless they haven't had their share their allotted amount of slices yeah exactly unless you're at like say you're at a party. And they get the, uh, a vegetarian one, and there's someone who is a vegetarian. vegetarian and can only eat that. And then there's that last slice. You're not going to go, 
Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, give me some of that. Yeah, bitch. give me some of that. After hooking into a meat lovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, okay. And there's like a bunch of other pizzas around. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's Gabriel. It's a Gabriel. Yes. Surprisingly, I thought that'd be a no. Gabriel. Yes. Be the Trent O'Day. Gabriel. Yes. Trent No Day. What did I say? <laughs> um, no, no way O'Day. O'day. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I this don't is know your what my segment's called. Cool. <laughs> this, this, is, this is a shambles. Uh, last one. <laughs> astrology. Ooh. Astrology. Gabriel. Six yes. or seven listeners just got their crystals all bent out of whack. Good. Gabriel. Yes. Gabriel. Yes to astrology. Go for it. Be astrological. Be astrological. Who am I to deny anyone to believe? Someone, no, no, it's not, it's not. You're denying. Not deny. Are you personally? Oh. Are, are you an astrology person? It's got nothing to do with them. We well, they, if, if it, I thought this was law. So when people, like we said with the other ones, yeah. when people think about sharing gum, they'll go, "Oh no, I can't do it." Actually, no. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. Know why I actually kind of just wanted to know your stance of astrology, but I guess we have to make it law for everyone. Exactly. So my stance is law for everyone. No, no, I, I mean, no, I it. just kind of power. wanted to... <laughs> do it, give me the power. I can't, you're already the elephant king. <laughs> if we give you too much, you, you're going to go mad. It's my next level up, man. Lawmaker. Lawmaker, yeah, <laughs> with an elephant. With an... Yo, no one would say no. Because I've got an <laughs> elephant. Many people could say no. I've got an elephant, bro. <laughs> anyway. Have you ever said no to a bloke with an elephant? I've never said yes to a guy with an elephant. <laughs> so, I feel like a guy with an elephant would be hard to say no to. He's, yeah, it's exactly. intimidation alone. Bingo. He's an elephant, bro. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. What was the question? Astrology. That's right. Um, am I astrological? Are you astrological, but then you have to make your uh, the stance law. So whatever the stance is going to be for law, I guess. Go with that. Ah, uh, I mean, as much as the next guy. Like, I... Nah. I'm not. I'm not. You're I'm not. not. I'm very. I'm not astrology. I'm not going to be like. Oh, oh no, you're a little a, bit about the rising Venus. Yeah, exactly. You're no a, Mercury's in retrograde. Or <laughs> exactly. Whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a. You know, you're a stormy Aquarius. So that means we can't talk on the fourth Thursday every month. That's oh, got yeah, to do with the moon. It, yeah, because because then we hate each other. Yeah, because our tides aren't aligned. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, Stuff like cycles this. aren't linked. Yeah. So whatever that is, that whole deal. That's I a, just realised that sounded no. like I was linking menstruation into that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Tag. <laughs> Sweet. So, Trent O'Day. What's up, dude? <laughs> would you like to step into the universe? I would love to. It is what the- universe it is is up to you, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> it is- I'm ready. The universe of everybody's second favorite segment, because everyone's first favorite segment is spin, spin the, the wheel. wheel. It's Trino Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But everyone's second favorite segment is actual factual. Um, oh, YC what? on oh, Twitter. What? YC gave you a shout. Yeah, out. my boy. Yeah, love uh, training at Grapple Max. Yes. Um, in Malaysia, oh, bro. I think. I'm going to shoot with Malaysia. Training at Grapple Max. I'm, I'm going to go with, with that. I'm going to shoot with Malaysia. Did a few online seminars with him. Loves actual factual. Yeah, good So lad. I thought I'd give him a proper shout a out. A good lad. Yeah. 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 So, actual factual. Yeah, go on. For this episode. Is um, reef related? Because we Reef are, related? It's tropic related. The Great Barrier Reef. Right. Right? right. Because we're in the tropics. Yep. Not reef related. No. Like reef. F- 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 reef. F-, f as in after. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. <laughs> no, no, you got it. <laughs> anyway, there's an, anyway, there's an F in after. Yeah, there is. Good. So, baby reef fish are athletes, bro. Okay. Baby reef fish baby are athletes. Reef, reef fish. Yep. Yep. So, researchers found that late stage reef fish larvae, larvae, yeah. larvae, 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 larvae. 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 I'm going to shoot with larvae. Larvae. Can swim. Babies? <laughs> yeah. Small, yeah. Small swims. Can small <laughs> swims. Small swimmers. Can swim. At, oh, that's a bit odd. Small swimmers. Small swimmers. No, that's no. wrong. Uh, fish larvae. Can swim up to 40 body lengths per second. Clownfish are the best swimmers. They reach 49 body lengths per second. So, you want me to put that into perspective, sir? Yeah, I'd love you to do that. Um, if we're going to go the average, uh, so say a six foot man, right? Yeah. That's one <laughs> so, point. So me. Yeah. Sure. 1.83 meters. 
Yes, you. Yes, yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Mm. yes. Not very... Don't you call me five <laughs> eleven? Non-threatening eyes. Yes, sir. You are six foot. So it's one point eight three meters, right? Yep. And then if that's forty nine body lengths, that's one point eight three by forty nine. It's like half a football field, right? That's 89.67... Oh my god, that's a full one! That's 90 metres per second. In kilometres per hour, 322. Oh my god! Why the, did it get bigger? The fish are booking. Yeah, dude. That felt like it got faster as the numbers went up. <laughs> like, like, the From, more you put it into perspective... Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, 80 a second. I'm like, oh, that's quick. And nice. then you're like 300 kilometers an hour, and I was like, oh, that's quick. Yeah, exactly. Like, the more you put it the into bigger, units, yeah. The, the bigger the numbers got, the bigger the numbers <laughs> yeah, fell. The, yeah, the bigger the numbers fell. Well yeah, done, man. 100%. That's how fast the clownfish can swim. That's huge. That's mental. As babies, or do they get faster as they get older? Blue whale's tongue is as big as an elephant. Its tongue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you said that weird. Stung? No, like a blue whale's tongue is as big as an elephant's tongue. No. Ah. No. Oh, like an elephant. Like the, the action. I was like, that's tiny. No. A blue yeah. I was like, what a weird comparison. <laughs> the two things are the same. I was like, I, guess, I guess that, yeah, they just have a mouth with like, what's it? The teeth. <laughs> <laughs> You're crushing this, bro. You're doing the so well. The, the broomstick teeth. The bristles. <laughs> yeah, okay. What are they called? Don't know. So, humpback whale lungs. So, the lung of a humpback whale is the size of a car. This <laughs> <Is it> lungs? <laughs> No, they can empty and... What re- car? What type of car? A uh, regular car, man. It's like a, a hatchback? No, it's like a sedan, <laughs> I reckon. I reckon it's a sedan. Yeah. I don't think the shape really matters, more the size. They can empty and refill their lungs in under two seconds. That's a lot of air. Yeah, that's, that's heaps. It's a that's lot a lot, air. man. And two seconds is... Quick. Yeah, not a lot of time. No, it's not a lot of time. Um, butterfly fish for mating pa- partners for life. That's nice. It is nice. They stick close together because they communicate so softly. Sort of like uh, whispering sweet nothings to each other. Yeah, nice. Cute, isn't it? That is cute. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, we talked about the rapid fish, right? Yeah. Fam. The slowest, right? Yeah. Dwarf seahorse, okay? You know how long it... How far you reckon he travels in an hour? In an hour? In an hour. Slowest fish. In an hour. 60 minutes. Go. At least a kilometre. A kilometre. In an hour. In an hour. That's the slowest fish. That's a long... That's a... That's not that far. In a a kilometre. Alright. In an hour... It is. In one hour, it travels 1.5 metres. Metres? That's what... What do you mean? How does that even... That's not even moving. That's just current. It's just riding the current. <laughs> that's what... My no, that... that my, <laughs> I'll believe it. It's yeah, okay. Thank you. I'll believe it. I'm not. I'm angry because at that point, it's the time stamp. Forty two minutes. Yeah. Right. Surely the current. Oh God, yeah. Surely the current is moving quicker, so it's actively fighting against the current to not move. I assume it's still water. Nah, it's fighting against whatever natural. Just sitting in water, I reckon I'd go further than that. You reckon? Yep, hundred percent. Well, that's because it, it's, it's actively fighting against it. That's what. That's the current. If I'm in the ocean, it's I'm deep. swimming faster than deep most water. fish. For a deep water, there's no current. Ah, uh, yep, that that'll be an addendum. I think at some point in the next pod, I'm gonna <laughs> go. I'm gonna go with really deep water. There's no current. Okay. Or there's very little current. Yeah, I like that. That's a good addendum. So, I could out swim most fish. I reckon. <laughs> like, oh, bro. If, I, if you chuck me in there, yeah. what's the what's the quickest fish? The clownfish. <laughs> It right. travels three hundred. It the equivalent of three hundred k's an hour. Yeah, clicks. I reckon. Yeah. What stroke are you getting? Breast. 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 At breast. The yeah. slowest one. The slowest one, but <laughs> give him a chance. Rapid, like oh, yeah. Give him a chance. Yeah, rapid. Yeah, for sure, man. I probably can't swim at three hundred k's an hour, but you no. give me like a fish my size. You reckon you could beat a shark? 
Oh yeah, you could be a shark. Hundred percent. No, yeah, I'm, I'm out maneuvering a shark as well. <laughs> you give me like an underwater no, no, we, agility course. We, we we already discussed the. If it's not going to triple kill, threat with the crocodile yeah with the croc as well. The shark, shark, shark. But they. What do you reckon re- my shot is against a whale? A whale, like a blue whale. I reckon I. Yeah, your best bet is if is when you plug it, the blowhole. <laughs> yeah, when he swallows you, you do the um. The thing they do in like cartoons where they like larynx. spread out in the, oh, in the yeah. throat and yeah. like make him choke. Like I thought you meant run the speed bag on his uvula. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'd... Oh, I reckon it'd, it'd be a close contest. Or I reckon you'd edge him. Yeah, I reckon <laughs> I would. I reckon you'd edge yeah. him. Yeah, that's fair. All right, to bring it home, we're at forty-five minutes. Snapping shrimp, also known as pistol shrimp. These are animals... the thumb splitters, eh? <laughs> the thumb splitters. Is this what you're about? The the ones that shoot water out real fast and like break people's fingers yes. and stuff? Yeah, they're insane. Yeah, dude. I'll just doco on them. So they have um, specialized claws used for hunting. And then I went out and fought one. And one? Uh, yeah, I was close. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so when the claw is snapped shut, it creates a cavitation bubble, mm. which travels quickly, about 97 k's an hour. Yeah. Almost as fast as you can swim. Yeah. Toward the prey and they release it and it reaches about 218 decibels. Yeah. Um, the pressure is strong enough to kill small fish. The bubble then collapses, reaching temperatures of over 4,700 degrees Celsius. Jesus Christ. Nearly the temperature of the sun, which is 5.5K. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah, I, that's the, the thumb split. Is that what it's called? Like I it has like so. a colloquial name. Maybe. Like, Snapping shrimp. Yeah, well they go and... They like... Because divers go to pick them up and they do that and, and they, they like <laughs> break their thumb apart. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. like Bang. clamp on them and stuff. I think... Yeah. I, I, I've read something about that. They're pretty cool. Yeah. So that was... Actual factual. Actual factual. Really good, actually. Reef edition. Yeah, I like it. Tag. 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 Radio. So that is the end of the pop culture section yep. of our podcast. If you yep. follow along um, or know what we do in our podcast, if you don't, I'll quickly tell you now. Essentially, our, the first uh, 45 minutes, 40, 45 minutes of our podcast is for yeah. you guys. Yeah. Um, people who don't necessarily follow wrestling, they can have a laugh and follow along with us and stuff. Um, at the end of every podcast, we like to do what's called a wrestling roundup. So yeah. we talk wrestling, talk shop for a little while. Yeah. Uh, it goes for about five, ten minutes. However um, long. However long. You're not obligated to to listen past this point if you're not interested in wrestling. Um, you're more than welcome to switch off now. Um, you can follow me at OdayQWA on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can follow myself at the Real Gabe Bro on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you guys have enjoyed it. Please show some support. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Give it a share um, on Apple Podcasts. Give us a five star review. Um, tell people to listen. Tell people to tell people to tell people to listen. Um, that's the only way we can you can support us for right now. Is just get more people in on it. Um, and if you see us in the street, be sure to say good day. Yeah, we're pretty personal. We like to say hello. Yeah. Um, but for those of you that are switching off, thanks very much. You can follow our tag team stuff at Bro Day Tag Team. It's on the podcast thing on Spotify, little album artwork. You can search that. We're on pretty much everything. So go yeah. out and have a look. Um, but yeah, wrestling roundup. Let's do the wrestling roundup. Okay, bye. Bye. Radio Gabriel, would you like to step into a... A wrestling roundup universe with me. Let's go. This is the part of the podcast where we get to talk a little bit of shop. Let's do it. I'm keen. And you normally do a segment called Grapple Gripes with Gabe. Yes. All right. I do. Now, I'm going to call this uh, Trent O'Day's Wrestling Turnoffs. Oh. Yeah. So I'll play the sting for it here. No sting. No sting. No sting. No sting. sting. Um, Essentially, I'd like to talk to you today about writing checks that your characters can't cash. Okay. So I'm very interested. Writing checks that your wrestling character can't cash, that your yeah. persona, that your whatever you want to call it, gimmick, whatever, I don't care, yeah. right? Writing checks that they can't cash. I'm going to give you an example, mm-hmm. and I want you to tell me what you think about it. Sure. All right? Now, I'm not, we're not in the business of saying that we're better than anyone or you know that we're ragging on other companies or wrestlers. This is just something that I heard and my immediate reaction to it and why I think it's important that if you're listening as a wrestler or a wrestling fan, it's something to take into consideration, right? So all I'm gonna say is that I was listening to two wrestlers talk and cut promo, a uh, cut a promo about themselves mm-hmm. and in their promo, now keep in mind that this tag team is not, as far as I'm aware, 
nationally recognized. They're certainly not internationally recognized. They're relatively still new to the scene. Right. Or new enough that... You didn't know who they were. That I didn't know who they were and people I talked to up until this promo, which I guess maybe did its job in its own sense because now I know who they are, but I don't know. It might be a, a little negative, but essentially what they said was, blah, 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 blah. We are the best tag team in the world. Yeah, right. And okay. my my immediate reaction was, no, the hell you are not. Mm-hmm. And so straight away, I was uninvested. I was uninvested. I didn't care. I thought it was a stupid thing to say or a silly thing to say. Yeah. Um, when you're quite very obviously not the best tag team in the world. Yeah. Because you are building up your own expectations Oh, sorry, you're building everyone else's expectations up of yourself to mm-hmm. be an incredible... Like, if you're going to say to yourself, you, I am the best in the world, yeah. you had better want to be close to, yeah. if not in the conversation, around the best in the world. Yeah. When CM you're Punk ha- said you're it... You're going to have to over-deliver. Yeah. When CM Punk said it, he meant it. When so, Chris Jericho said it, he meant it. So when um, Randy Orton and he- Edge had... The be- the world's greatest match ever. Yes. Everyone straight away was like, it's not going to be. It's, it's not, not going to be. be because you've already said that. Because you've said it. Yeah. And I know that it may have been like a little play in the meta and whatever, but yeah. in, in, t- in the way I consider, the way I looked at it, as soon as somebody says, I'm the best in the world, when you're quite very obviously not, yeah, it, j- it takes it right out of it for me. Yeah, Say yeah. you're the, like, I have made, this is me personally, because I know that I've made outlandish claims as a wrestler yep. in order to draw in people to watch my stuff. Yeah. But I the most I've ever said is I'm the best wrestler in my company. Yeah. Because that is realistic enough for people to listen to it and be like, "Oh, well, I'll check him out." Yeah. And I'll see if he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? And you can feasibly make that claim if you're semi-competent in your company mm-hmm. and it be realistically believable enough that people aren't going to jump on you straight away. Yeah. If I hear some rinky-dink dude from out of nowhere who wrestles in front of 30 people and there's nothing wrong with that but if you come to me and say I'm the best in the world yep 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 you need yeah, there's, you there you, yeah I, it's gonna be hard for me to get on board because straight away yeah well, especially if you if you go on to lose the match post you saying that yeah I'm like well you've shot yourself now like no one cares yeah yeah you know what I mean so and that for me personally is something that we need to be careful of when we're in the business of, of entertainment. Like mm. there's, there's, you can make outlandish claims as, especially if you're a heel. Yeah. You can make outlandish claims. That's fine. But there still needs to be a sense of believability in them. Exactly. And that's the, that's the money point, isn't it? It's that gray area. You want people to be, to, you want to have that outlandishness about you, but then you still want people to be drawn into it to that question mark to go, Oh, like, or are you, or aren't you, or like, you, yeah, it exactly. needs to be like that believability. If the instant reaction is no, you are not, yeah, then like, they're no, immediately see going, it's scroll, see yeah, you later, scroll, mate. see you later, not going to happen, not going to watch your stuff. Yeah. And I know what you mean. Like, I know what people say when they, they're, they're going to say, oh, but it made you watch. They say that, oh, it might make you watch to see how they go. Yeah, but it's not like a positive interaction. Yeah. You're it's not making, not a, you're not getting fans out of you're it. You're not getting fans out of it. You're just getting people that, sort of maybe want to laugh at you a little bit. Yeah. And you that can really hinder the brand that you're trying to create. It can hinder the brand that you work for. And if anything, it it's it leans itself more towards possibly losing someone who could be a fan. Because the only way that someone would come across a wrestling promo is if they're somewhat interested in wrestling itself. Mm-hmm. So if that just pops up on anyone's feed, yep. they're going to be like, oh, well, it's because I like that company or yeah, I'm absolutely. part of that company and it just happens to pop up. They say that and then you go, well, no, no to hell with these guys. They're obviously not the best tag team in the world. So I'm, yeah. not, I'm now not going to care about them anymore. So someone who could have been a fan, who could have been a lifelong fan because wrestling fans, we're diehard. Yeah. We're like, it's like... We're, uh, on Chris we're not Jericho's looking for pod. a reason to leave. We're no. looking for a reason to stay. Exactly. Chris Jericho's pod, he was like, wrestling fans are like Star Wars fans. They are, they're not fully into like the whole quote unquote general culture of life and pop culture of everyone, yeah. but they are well into it and they will like almost die for, for wrestling itself, right? Yeah, absolutely. Excuse me, super passionate fans, right? Yes. So you don't want to put them offside in any way you can and dump it like that 
Excuse bleep. my French. Yeah, bleep. I'll bleep it out. Yeah, dumb stuff like that. It it can put people offside, and you can lose fans. You lose people that could be lifelong fans. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that's and this is what I mean when I say like to everyone. Like one of the things that you know, and I say that I say we do like online seminars like we did a lot of online seminars with the EPW boys and like I think they won't mind us saying like we took so much from that yeah yeah they were so good but one of the things they they told us when we were running through like characterization and like things to say and how to cut promos and whatever is they kept saying like you have you can say outlandish things but you have to remain believable and Mm. you have to not destroy the integrity of your character yeah yeah like you know as an outlandish bad guy heel when I was one mm. I would say all sorts of ridiculous things but I they'd never step outside the realms of reality belie- rea- Be- reality you know I'd say like you know I could you know I'm, I'm the best wrestler in this company and people yeah. would be like no you're not yeah. but well he might be yeah. I don't know like is he that good yeah, like, let's, yeah. but if, if I went straight up and said I'm the best be. wrestler in Australia people would be like no you're not dude yeah. like you've got no yeah, you've got yeah. like two years in the business like no you are not yeah, like exactly. come on now yeah and this is why I say, like wrestlers listening, like don't ca- don't write checks that your character and you can't cash. You're only doing a disservice to yourself. Yep. It's just sorry, that's my phone going off. Um, you need to, yeah, you just need to maintain believability. Like there are creative ways that you can do that, and giving yourself the moniker of the best tag team in Australia isn't productive. Mm. Like you know, there someone like. Davis Storm, the godfather of Australian wrestling, that's a moniker that you earn. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. He didn't probably didn't even give himself that. Mm. Like, I swear, like, heaps of people would have started saying that. And he's yeah. gone, oh, okay, well, well, thank you. I'm humbled. I'll take it. But knowing the kind of guy that he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but if you're going to sit there and give my, well, we're the best tag team in Australia, you're probably not, though. Yeah. And don't give you don't put that much expectation on yourself. Call yourself something else. Something believable. Yeah. yeah write write a check that you can definitely cash. That's yeah. me personally. Spot That's on. what I think. Yeah, I, f- I fully fully agree with you, man. Um, yeah, I'm I'm 100 percent with yeah. you. You can be outlandish without being ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's something that is 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 nice to keep in mind. Ab- absolutely. Speaking anyway. of tag teams. Yep. Tag. 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 Okay. Uh, that is the end. That is, you've, you've reached the end. If you've li- listened along this far, you have come to the end of episode seven. Um, big episode, this one, actually, yeah. close to an hour. Chonky. Um, thank you so much for following along. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Absolutely. We hope, it's, it's nice to, to be able to keep doing this on the regular. Yeah. So exactly. all the feedback we've had so far is incredibly positive. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it genuinely, genuinely is. And it's, if you found some light of positivity out of this, and we've, if, having us on in the car or like, while you're doing stuff at the house and if that's all like if you feel if it's bringing some good to yeah. your life then that's like then, then that's, we've done that's, our job exactly then it's, it's fully In, worth within it. seven episodes we've done our job exactly we really yeah 100 percent. um if you'd like to keep following along with us you can follow along with our tag team stuff at bro day tag team it's on the little album up for the spotify apple music and whatever apple podcasts um you can follow us on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok and youtube um and if you want to follow me, I'm at OdayQWA on all of those platforms by YouTube. Yep. And if you want to follow myself, that's Gabriel. That's at the real Gabe Bro. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Um, yeah, like our stuff, like the YouTube, comment, subscribe, um, help us get through the algorithm. Yeah. Share it with your friends. Please like, don't be afraid to um, interact with us. Like, yeah. honestly, we love it. Like, yeah, yeah. We're, we're wrestlers first, but this kind of stuff is is also a nice way to get through to, and meet new people. Yeah, like, exactly. It's, right. it's a lot Spot of fun on. for us. Spot on. And interact with fans. So, yeah. we are wrestlers first, but we're also hopefully trying to be a, a little bit of light in people's lives as yeah. well, which is always fun. Exactly. Exactly. Nice wholesome into the podcast. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Take, Take out for the final time. <laughs> <laughs>